Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with something Cobra Kai related. I don't know what I'm about to see. I woke up, I was about to start a new show. Infinity Train will be popping up on Patreon. I'll probably edit some up for YouTube at a point. But, I was coming in to do that. My sister said, yo, you gotta jump into this. She set up a thumbnail for me. She has two windows open that are behind this black screen. I can't see them yet. She said, I'm going to set up these windows. She said it isn't a video. It's pictures and news. So I'm going to edit this up. However you guys see it is the best way I saw to express it to you guys. But I have no idea what it is. I don't know when this information came out. I think my sister said it was less than an hour ago. I haven't heard anything or seen anything from anybody else yet. September 9th is when season 5 releases. It is already August 9th. A month away, we will be reacting to it. You know how I do Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai unlike any other show, comes out almost immediately. I watch them the second it drops. I marathon the whole season. I literally take off of work the day before. Like, I prepare for these events. Stranger Things was similar in the sense that I watched them all, but then I still had work in the morning and I had to edit them up, and that was a lot. Because between work and doing that, and that being even longer of a season than Cobra Kai... Either way, if it was Cobra Kai, I would have done it because Cobra Kai is my favorite show in the last 10 years. I think I could honestly say that without having to put much thought into it. There is probably five shows I could think of. If this is season five coming up, let's say five years. In the last five years, this is probably my most anticipated show. Every season has been great. As far as shows that drop where the whole season comes out at once... Cobra Kai is the only one I do immediately after, and I can't wait to edit them up and get them out to you guys. Let's just see what we got here. All right, so we're going to go through this together. I really have no idea what this is. So Netflix Cobra Kai Season 5 kicks off with first images. Daniel, Johnny, and Cobra Kai crew are back with the first new photo from Season 5. First new photo. I just wanted to make sure my mic and everything was on. First new photo, Season 5. And this is today at 10 a.m., and it is now 1 p.m. So it's about three hours ago this dropped today, August 9th, a month from the release of season five. Anyway, Cobra Kai is coming back and we have a first look at Daniel and company ready to kick punch and chop their way back to victory. Yuji Akimoto, who played Daniel's rival Chosen in Karate Kid 2, joins the cast. We knew that. Following the conclusion of the All Valley Tournament in the last season of the show, season five of the karate family drama finds the villainous Terry Silver, Thomas Ian. Cat, do you think this is some kind of game here? This isn't a game. Look at me when I talk to you. What are you, what are you doing? You want to go up here? I'll move you. Ready? whoop -a -doo. He, There's a shelf there, and he uses me as a segue. A segue. Oh, I am to him. I feed him and transport his fat ass. Thomas Ian Griffith, looking to expand his Cobra Kai empire and trying to make his style of karate the only game in town with John Kreese, Martin Cove, the great Martin Cove, in jail and Johnny Lawrence, William Zapka, setting karate aside to focus on righting the wrongs he caused over the past four seasons. As Terry calls upon some old friends to put the valley in a stronghold, Daniel and Johnny are going to need all the help they could get to stop Cobra Kai in its tracks, said in the press release. We'll do the next article first. The images go along with both. So we're going to jump into the next article. We'll read that one. And then we'll check out some pictures. The first look. Cobra Kai Season 5 First Images previews the return of Karate Kid 3 villain Mike Barnes. I figured so much. I believe we even got photos of Mike Barnes at this point. It's almost one of those things where even if it hasn't been confirmed, I've just automatically confirmed it in my own mind. As audiences eagerly await the arrival of Cobra Kai Season 5 on Netflix next month, fans can wait can what? Can wet their appetites. Is that a misspell or are they trying to be clever? W-H-E-T? Wet their appetites? With a slew of first look images for the new season, including a return of yet another familiar face from the Karate Kid lore. There he is. Oh, is that an actual image? Oh, that's an actual image, I believe. Yeah, because why else would he be that old doing a Karate Kid pose? Sean Kanan as Mike Barnes in Cobra Kai. 
All right, we're going to look at the other picture. Let me finish. Season five will welcome back Sean Kanan as Mike Barnes, who franchise devotees will remember as one of the main antagonists of Karate Kid 3. In that film, he was hired by Terry Silver to take down Daniel LaRusso in the Old Valley Karate Championship later in season three of Karate Kid, or Cobra Kai, I don't know why I just changed that in my mind. Daniel tells his daughter Sam that Mike was the most ruthless fighter he ever faced off against. Nothing hits harder in Cobra Kai than nostalgia. As Terry Silver calls upon some old friends to put the valley in a stranglehold, Daniel and Johnny are going to need all the help they could get to stop Cobra Kai in its tracks. And here we are. Very first look at Kanan's return as Mike, as well as more from the new episodes. I like the shot. What's in the background over here? I don't know, but he looks like he's in a very posh setting. Most likely Terry Silver's or something. So we got Kyler, Kenny, and this unknown guy who to me, I don't know, maybe because I just want to believe so, but it looks like it could be Mike Barnes' kid. But why would he be in the front row next to them in an image like this? It has to be for a reason. I don't recognize anybody around them. Now we got the whole group here from Miyagi-Do. Who's this? He's the only one I really don't recognize too much. I also have to remember that Daniel's son, is that Daniel's son? Daniel's son looks so much different than he did from season one till now. He lost a lot of weight and he is probably going to start being thrown in there as a martial artist, being as he's old enough now and they got to start going different angles. We got Tori. Looks like she's walking either in or out with the trophy, but doesn't look too happy. She dyed her hair, different kind of hair look. And there is a zoomed up picture of the great Mike Barnes. He looks like he's still in good shape. I've seen videos of the dude recently, like in the last year or two when Cobra Kai gained popularity he came out and did interviews and stuff and people were like you think you're going to be part of it at some point i would only imagine he got in better shape after finding out they might actually get him to do something like this he could also have a kid that fights like everybody else but you could have both it's like parents against parents kids against kids it looks to me like he's in a ritzy place probably terry silvers and he looks very angry so my guess is terry silver and him didn't keep on the best of terms or, I don't know, why would you be this angry in Terry's place? This has got to be Terry's place. Who else has a place that looks like a castle? Here's better ones, guys. I just realized I could zoom it in on the other site. So I zoomed in. We got better pictures now. So I'll go back. But right now, we got two left. This is Devin, one of my favorite characters of the most recent season. Very quiet, but I loved everything about her character. And they kind of kept her on the back burner and then slowly looked like they were introducing her towards the end. She's here with Cobra Kai and Tori, who's also one of my favorites. Her and Devin, I hope they hit it off. I hope they come around to us. Probably in this picture because we're going to see a lot more of her. And then here's the last picture. This one to me is the most interesting because I have no idea who this is. It says Alicia Haneth Kim as Kim Daun in Cobra Kai Season 5. I don't know who that character is, but she looks like she's pretty badass and she looks like she's fighting with Terry Silver. Is she an instructor? She definitely looks older. My guess is she isn't a student. I mean, she could still be a student. I'm not saying you couldn't be a student at my age. I just feel like we're dealing with high school kids. She's got to be an instructor. I don't know if I don't remember her or what, but my guess is if she's Cobra Kai, she's either someone Terry Silver knew or could just be someone he hires to run one of the schools it says he's buying up dojos all over he's got to have several instructors say each school had an instructor he could have like 12 bosses so to speak 12 under bosses for his evil empire of cobra kai either way a nice addition someone i don't know a complete mystery to me biggest things i want to take away from this is who's this kid right here this kid right here i feel like the fact that he's front and center with kyler and kenny over here that this dude's important. My guess, possibly Mike Barnes' kid. What's in the background here? Oh my God, it's a giant Terry Silver picture or something in the back here. We're obviously going to get Miguel at some point. My guess is that's where we are. What does this say back here? Sahara Rama? I don't know if this dude is even important only because he's not listed in the cast over here. On the side over here, it gives you like a little snippet of what's going on and who's in the scene. They don't even list the dude in the middle. So I don't know if they're just rude or this is a new character because I also don't recognize him. But we got Miguel and Robbie, Mike Barnes, 
beautiful, probably in Terry Silver's house, looks very angry. This is the only one I really don't recognize. I remember everybody else. I don't know you, sir. I almost feel like that could be Daniel's son. Because he has looked so different to me over the years, I don't even know anymore. It says right here, it is Anthony LaRusso. Griffin Santo Pietro. So it is. I was going to say, that is the only one I don't recognize. And in my head, I'm thinking, who could it be that would make sense? And Anthony LaRusso has looked so different over the years, I can't still believe that's him. But I didn't believe it was him in season four. So there we go. He's joining the crew and we got the rest of the crew. Great stuff, guys. I enjoyed what we saw. I don't know if it had any real big massive surprises as far as I'm concerned because I already knew Mike Barnes was coming around. I knew he'd be included in this. The Asian woman at the end to me is the most intriguing because I'm thinking, what has she got to do with it? Who is she? Why would she be a main pitcher? Front and center. She looks like a badass. I feel like I recognize the actress from something, but I don't know the character. It said the character's name in the photograph that she was in. Didn't ring a bell. Let's say Terry Silver has a dozen Cobra Kai dojos and each one has somebody running it. He could have 12 underbosses that all sort of run around and do his bidding. It's an evil empire. I know in real life it sounds ridiculous. That sort of stuff doesn't necessarily go on that way. But this is a great, amazing show. The 80s gave us greatness and we will ride it out and I will be there for it. So there's a couple questions. Who are some of those kids? How is Mike Barnes coming into it? Why does he look so freaking angry? But we'll find out a month from today. A month from today, I will be releasing these they will go on Patreon in full unedited immediately after I watch them. And then I'm going to start editing them up. Last time the way I did it was I did episode one, threw it up on Patreon in full, edited that up for you guys just so you had a taste. And you were like, oh my God, Viewmasters is out and he's doing it. He's lost his goddamn mind. But then I watched the rest of the season. And Patreon got them as I watched them. And YouTube got them after I was done. So Patreon definitely will get them a day or two earlier depending on when you want to see it all, you'll get the whole season in like a day or two on Patreon in full. But on YouTube, it might take a week. So it's up to you guys how you want to watch it, but I will be getting it out there to YouTube and Patreon because I love it that much. I want to re-edit it so I can see things I missed and enjoy it a second time. You guys tell me what you think. You want to see more of what I do, full unedited episodes, all the shows on the channel, seasons out of what you're seeing, hundreds of exclusives. You'll only see on Patreon both Season two, three, and four I did on YouTube. I believe season three and four are in full on Patreon, unedited. Season two might have been before Patreon. I'm not sure. But I know at least season three and four are on Patreon in full. We also got other shows you don't even see on YouTube. Doctor Who, Person of Interest, Eureka. Go check it out. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.